Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I'm going to compare the default graphic settings of the PUBG Mobile comparison between the Ico Neo 6 device versus Realme GT Neo 2 device. So both phones do have the same kind of Snapdragon 870 processor. But after the recent update of the PUBG Mobile 2.2.0, let's find out what are the default settings going on between these both phones. So as you can clearly see, I did install the latest version of the PUBG Mobile 2.2.0 between these two phones. And this is the latest version by the time I'm making this video. And uh, let's see what are the default graphics settings you can actually play between these both smartphones. So that's what I'm going to discuss in this video, comparing both phones regarding the default graphics settings. And is there any kind of 90 FPS updated in the Realme phone or not? Because in the Aiku Neo 6 device, we do know the phone actually supports the 90 FPS with the previous update. It got updated. So you should know about the settings by now. So let let's show you the settings what's going on you can see the 90 fps is unlocked in the icon neo 6 device and you can play with the balanced and extreme hd and extreme hdr and extreme also you can play and ultra hd also you can actually play in the device in the icon neo 6 device and 90 fps is on and whereas in the realme gt neo 2 let me show you what's going on with these settings in the realme gt neo 2 in the graphic settings you can see smooth and extreme settings and there is no 90 fps so still the 90 fps is not enabled in the realme gt neo 2 and the balanced and extreme hd and extreme hd and extreme and ultra hd is enabled so everything is to the maximum except 90 fps in the realme gt neo 2 device that's something you should know about uh between these both phones in case if you're planning to buy one of the device so reference is a quick comparison between these both phones regarding the default graphic settings and uh, so which might be useful for some of the users who are actually looking to buy the one of the smartphones and the good thing is that the realme phone which has got the real-time fps meter floating fps meter is present in the realme smartphone but still the ico did not implement any kind of floating fps meter bar in this uh front touch device not yet so still it's not implemented yet so we're not sure when the ico will be planning to implement that uh, real-time fps in the Aiku phones, especially in the front touch UI. So, in case if you are interested in any any kind of comparison side by side, let me know in the comment section below. Friends, definitely I'll be able to help you out. But right now I'm getting the haptic feedback while playing in the PUBG in the Realme GT Neo 2s. Yes. Haptic feedback works perfectly fine. I'm not sure whether you will be able to hear the haptic sound or not, but it is actually working. Whereas in the Badlands mobile game, the haptic feedback did not work. But I need, to, I need to check that after the update as well. Regarding it's working or not after the 2.2 point uh, update regarding the Patagon's mobile game. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested as well. But right now, these are the settings between these both phones. Meanwhile, signing off, friends. Thank you for watching. Until then, straight for more updates. Signing off and bye.